guys, Blue Cool Aid coming at you here. Um, I got you at the SDO. This is the satellite that orbits with the Earth, looking at the sun all the time. Okay, it's as if we went out to space and was looking at the sun. So that's the perspective of this. Um, I'm going to show you the CME that I just talked about in my previous video. But what I found interesting is this sunspot just popped up. I think it started about, I don't know, right in there. Okay, about the middle. Why do I think it's interesting? Because when you get two sunspots, depending on their polarity and their intensity, sometimes they can cause each other to do crazy stuff. Okay? Um, <laughs> which, you know, I'm not saying that's what's happened, but I think it has something to do with it. So, yeah, hey, check that out, guys. Put a nose on it. Smiley face, some ears. How about that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, where I want you to watch is where this CME came from was from this sunspot. Okay, you're going to see it kind of open up on either side and you'll see it blow out like this. Okay, and the reason it looks like that is because we're looking directly at it. That's why you can't see it going off the side. Okay. That's why this stuff is coming right at us. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm going to bring this uh, toolbar back and you'll be able to see. Okay. So again, keep an eye right in there. All right. Here we go. Okay. Watch what it does here. See that open up a little bit? That's the beginning. Okay. It does a little bubble and then the big one comes. Boom. See the sun react all the way across? At least the energy spread that far. Boom. Okay. Okay, that's even better. You see how there's no hole? Right there. There's no hole right there. Okay. Now watch. Boom. And then out it goes. Okay. I'm just toggling back and forth a couple times so you guys can see. All right. Now, like I said, guys, I mean, this is Earth facing. This is a current image. But what I'm getting ready to show you guys is something I didn't really expect to happen this quick. Um, <laughs> remember, I told you in the previous video that. Yeah, what a freaking joke. Anyway, um, I told you in the previous video that I would have thought, you know, we're going to start seeing, we're, we've been seeing it for like a week anyway, but now I think we're going to see it even more because I think that object, whatever it is by the sun, is reacting to it more often, okay? Um, so basically, guys, we've had another CME is what it boils down to, okay? And I'm going to show it to you right here. Okay, we're going to hit that play movie button. I'm gonna stop it right there. Take it on forward. Um, then we're going to go back 100 frames here, guys. Okay, hit apply. So, yeah, I mean, it's nothing to be like freaking out, but I think we're going to continue to see reactions on this side until that object moves away. Right, so I'm going to pause it. Okay, now if you look at the timestamp, that says the 19th. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it forward and I'll let you guys know when it, when it is. Okay, now if you guys look real close right in here, you're going to see a little bulge. Okay, see that right there? See that little bulge? Then you get kind of a lull in energy and then boom, right behind it. You see that? Little, little energy big energy okay now as this this cme is the one that is the big one okay now but what's interesting watch this okay see a bulge again all right this was this happened after i did that video earlier okay 
See what it's doing? Okay, and then it shot on out, right? Well, here's my thing, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see that it did have a CME, smaller one, but it is a CME, and it's earth-facing. Same exact direction, guys. So not only are we going to get hit with the bigger one, we're going to get hit with a smaller one right behind it. So, why am I... <laughs> Why am I saying this? Well, because of the second CME, watch it, okay? Remember what the first one did. Small bulge, basically small CME, and then the big boom, okay? Then you go on down, another small bulge, guys. What's going to be with this one, if anything, okay? My, con my concern here is that we may get another one, big one right, right, following right behind it. I don't know. But that's exactly what it looks like. Now, I don't, I'm not saying we're going to get a big one behind this, but that's it. we see that a lot with CMEs. We see a little bulge first, and then boom, a big one. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's what's going on with that. Now, I do want to take you guys over to the seed site real quick. Okay? Um, this is where I go a lot. All right. Now, when, if you guys go over here to the seed site, and I'll leave a link. And you see where it's gray right here? That means there's no data for that, that day yet. Okay, the big CME happened on the 20th, and I'm going to show it to you on Lasco C2 because it's pretty impressive. Okay, look at the left side. I'll just zoom in here real quick. All right, see that? Boom. Look at that. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to hit next. Okay, because this is going to be real, real, real uh, simple here. Okay, did you guys see that little flash? Okay, look up in here. You'll see another flash. See that flash? See how it turned dark too? Sometimes you guys see that dark signature and it's actually high amounts of energy. All right, so, and look at this. This is, oh, I just, I just seen that. Wow. Okay. Um, see, this is this is what I'm saying, guys. This is after the first CME, so this is actually after the capture that Scott had on the cactus view. Okay. Look at this. Same exact spot. All right. I mean, really? Wow. I just I just seen that. Sorry, guys. I mean, I had to stop there for a minute, but yeah, that's that same object. Same spot. Okay. So, you know, that is what it is. And again, I think what you're seeing when the energy goes goes across it, that's when you're going to see the shape of this object. You're just seeing the energy. So, you know, even when it goes off the back side, it may still have a, a spherical shape of some sort because it just took that shape because it went around that object is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, yeah, and that's, that's the last image we had. So, <laughs> there you go. I mean, yeah, wow. <laughs> I mean, it even has that slight irregularity that the other one did. I'll have to send that, send that over to Scott. But, uh, yeah. So, what am I saying here? Well, I'm going to show you this real quick, too. Um, I'm going to go to the 18th because remember I said we've been watching this for over a week. I'm just going to take you here to the 18th. You guys can go back further. Well, actually, it's not the 18th. I think it's the 17th. Okay. Pretty sure it's 17th. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause it once it loads. Just about done loading. That's what I hate about doing this stuff, guys. I really try to have this stuff set up for you. That way we can cut down on the time because I get ripped in the comment section sometimes about <laughs> having to sit here and wait. But I try to fill that with information, talk to you guys about what I need to do while I'm, you know, loading up here. Okay, so what, what, am, I, what am I talking about here? Why am I even got you here? Well, first off, you do see some sort of a spherical shape right in the same spot. Okay, you're going to see energy start about right here where i think that object might be and it goes back towards the sun it goes the wrong direction now what what could this be well 
there was a CME just prior to this. Okay, that you can tell by here, this is the leading edge of that energy that came off the sun. Sometimes what the sun does with the CME, it'll shoot it off, right? Well, sometimes the plasma cannot escape the sun and some of it will go back to it. So I'm not trying to say that this object created that energy. I'm saying that the sun shot some energy at it. Okay which ended up being a decent sized CME this time, and then was able to recapture some of its plasma due to the gravity. It pulled it back, some of it, okay? So, <laughs> I think that's what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm just gonna slow it down, and then I will um, hit play. So you got, you, this, is, this is one of those instances where it is better to Play it a little faster because you can see it better instead of just showing a still shot. So I'm going to hit start. Okay, and what are we looking at? Okay, we're looking at this energy. It starts here, right? Okay, and it actually, you know, like I said, the object is here. So I do think it's the energy that came off the sun and came back, but you're going to see it take a spherical shape even on its way back. So what it's doing is it's hitting that object or the magnetics around that object and you know getting sent around it thus taking that same shape so uh here we go <laughs> okay there it is right there started watch it go the wrong direction look at that you guys see that <laughs> and you can see it go around something right here man i mean it's just it's just crazy so anyway it's just a little bit more proof but, uh, yeah, um, you can, like I said, you can keep going back in days and you'll see all the way back a week where stuff is reacting on that side. So that's basically what I'm trying to say. But the big thing here, guys, is this. Okay. This is the most updated picture I could get you. Okay. Other than the one I showed you on ISWA. But you can even see it here. All right, another CME happened, and it's earth-facing. Okay, see the, see the little bulge over here that I just showed you? Now, I'm going to go ahead and just hit next and next. See it doing it right there? Oops. I just wanted to show you guys that. So, you know, guys, I'm, I don't know what else to say about all this. This is one of those things that we... Uh, I didn't expect that second one so soon, but it's there. Uh, I'll send, uh, I'll try to come up. I'll, I'll definitely be watching this, okay? Along with the Schumann Resonance. They just came out with a report, and I'm going to talk about it uh, and in my next video. They're claiming that we now have a, a sixth, we've had a sixth since. They've done studies now that have proven that we react to magnetism and we can sense it. Um, it, it goes into depth and I'll, I'll give you a little article, you know, later on, but what that does is that gives more validity to the reason why we should pay attention to the Schumann resonance. Okay. Because that's all part of that. Um, you know, so when the Schumann resonance, is messing up it gives just more validity that it does affect us biologically they've come out and basically said that biologically we have a sixth sense we can sense magnetism even around each other okay they shot mag different different frequencies of magnetism to these these uh, the study group and they reacted okay in different manners um the lower the lower the frequency, people were, act, were reacting uh, negatively. And then when the higher frequencies, they were acting more positively. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they were basing that on. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to read that article over again. And I'll bring it to you guys in my next video. But yeah, guys. Um, a second CME already. Same side of the sun. So, you know, guys. Just, uh, I'm going to say this too. Okay absolutely no fear guys no fear okay 
even if we see something happen here on the surface, which I think we're going to hear reports of some stuff, this is nowhere near the Carrington event that happened in the, you know, way back in the day where they had we had telegraph lines and it fried them. Um, obviously, the electrical lines probably weren't as uh, durable as what we have now, but it doesn't matter now because this thing is. <laughs> if we get the big one, it ain't gonna matter. It's gonna fry our phones lines, and we're gonna see satellite disruptions and all those kinds of things, which we could see satellite disruption. In this one, we could see cell service interruptions and even, you know, small grid downage, okay? I ain't saying huge areas, but we could see smaller areas. I just want to point that out. But no fear. And what, you know, we can't control any of it, so we can't fear it. We just got to know about it, be aware, prepare a little bit, you know, or even a lot if you want. It's all, all what you think you need to do. But, you know, I just wanted to bring this to you and show it to you and make you guys aware. Oh, one more thing. Wow. I can't believe I almost forgot this. <laughs> um, you know, remember I told you guys about the CME tracker that shows CMEs and its direction of travel and how big it's supposed to be and all those kinds of things? Well, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember I, last time we had those two CMEs back to back and they had it, they were showing them, then they took it off of their tool and didn't even show them at all after that. Well, this is that same tool. Okay. Um, but this one here for them to update it this quick is unheard of too. Okay. Because this, this is actually predictive. This is actually predicting out a certain amount of days. It goes back a couple days and then it also... Um, goes out a couple days. Now you see that? What's going on? Okay, watch this, man. Boom. <laughs> okay, the yellow dot's Earth. Okay, in case you guys didn't know. We're taking this one right on the chin. Really are. All right, right along with Mercury's right there, too, looks like. So, um... Don't know what else to say on this one, guys. Uh, you know, just be aware. God bless and uh, Yeshua saves.